Oh, shit. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you very much, Elliot, for the massive raid, and welcome, everybody, to the CCL playoff first round match between Gadenik and his Kemri and Vava and his Elven Union. In the booth with me are Fymir and Skurametso. Hello. Hello. How are we doing? Ah, uh, we're doing well. And now we have a good game here with Gdenik versus Barbar, Kemri versus Pro Elves, and this game is dedicated to our viewers in Greece. Oh, I'm getting so go so good at this. <laughs> hey, I've been there. It's great. Greece with the currency, obviously the euro, the national dish, the moussaka, and the national flower, obviously the laurel that went to the champions. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so we've got Gadinik's down. He's got a bribe and a wizard and a pommer. He's got like pretty bare bones. Camry team, isn't it? The main the main thing about the Camry team is that it's got Gadinik coaching it. But he does have a tackle pommer, and that is all you need to win Chalice. Um, <laughs> Vava has a move ten catcher that he really should have played more games to got sprint on. But never mind. And uh, a couple of guarders there, which is quite nice, isn't it? Three guards, lots of guard, but uh, no strength and no edge, so it's not that good an elf team. But obviously the move ten is pretty good. But God, he had to get sprint on it. He, he had to. I know from horrible experience that you have to get sprint on that. Okay, here comes the blitz. No. Nothing. Disaster. <laughs> oh dear. Did Run Bad and Yuddy play? I don't think so, no, Tim. Um, no, I mean, well, I'm not, they haven't because. Just, I don't know. I don't know if they should you a bit. Dirty player foul on the pommer. You can be my wingman anytime. Oh, Singolo. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, the dice lord Hello, himself. <laughs> Hello, thanks very much for the raid. <laughs> Clearly, Magic Carp did not stole your dice. <laughs> don't, don't watch the vod. Don't watch the vod, Singolo. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Or, you know, cage your ball carrier, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> GFI occasionally. Yeah. That was certainly a game. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the notion of caging the ball is complete garbage, or the game was complete garbage? <laughs> garbage. Garbage. <laughs> It was so. Uh, it was something. It was. I mean, <laughs> I guess it was entertaining, wasn't it? Uh, maybe not so much for Magic Carp as he he's got his whole yeah. team slaughtered. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he got another dub score. It's probably about as entertaining as uh, yeah, like watching one of Calcium's uh, uh, ninja expos, whatever it is, <laughs> MMA fights, ninja expos. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> oh man. That's so good. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, not yet, Sandwich. Not yet. That's just pure. That's just the uh, the American kid who played uh, American football when he was a teenager and got three concussions. Flip me. In fairness, only one of them was from playing football. Two others were from horsing around before football practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody I went to uh, somebody I went to school with. Uh, he's he's a bunch of concussions doing wrestling. And uh, J Five's had a few concussions, hasn't he? he mentions. I, uh, the, my, my most famous one was the day of my, my, my junior prom. We were fucking around before, uh, before base. It was actually before baseball, not football. And I was riding on the back of my, my friend's, uh, on the trunk of my friend's car. 
and he started like flooring it a bit and I started hitting the vac saying you bastard you bastard and he thought I was saying go faster go faster oh god and so he hit a bump and I landed on my head and that was that oh man this is interesting from Gadernik isn't it because what I would have done was blitz this guy so that if you powered him you push him to there and you've got a full cage right whereas now um, there's surely something on for, uh, for Vava here. Surely. Surely there's something on, somehow. Well, maybe, maybe there wasn't. Oh, stories about concussion and death players. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. Why am I not surprised that day. the A5 has a few concussions? Oh, he just dodges there. Well, I feel like I feel like Vava could have done better this time. <laughs> I, I think there were more options. I think uh, I think Wanger got concussed when he he did wrestling. He like he did he did a bit of wrestling, and I think he got concussed doing that. Yeah, well, did. it's so easy too, because the the first thing you learn is how to fall on your back, and that's the easiest way to just hit your head if you do it wrong and get a concussion. Yeah, that's that's exactly. <laughs> it's literally what he did, yeah. the most basic thing you learn in 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 wrestling. <laughs> yeah, that's that's exactly what he did. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Thurian. So, talking here about the prom. Who did you take to prom, Escuro? Uh, girl. Her name was I Megan. Who? Her name was Megan. She was definitely Irish. Is that, <laughs> is that what you want to hear? <laughs> Um, yeah, another dub skull there from Nick, and now surely, surely there's going to be something happening here. Oh! Yes, another double skull. Another double skull, yeah, so he gets the... wait, he doesn't get the chain. I'm wondering how many times did the... Uh, oh my god. How many times what? did uh, Nick say, oh, where did you go those dice, mate? The bad dice up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, constantly I think for both of them. How many dips uh, have there been this game? It's crazy. I'm at their blood ball here. I'm at their blood ball. I mean, this is it, this is clearly a group of people that haven't watched too many uh, Nick games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Oh, just wait. <laughs> oh, pro. pro. Oh, I was wet. I was expecting that pro to be double skulls. Oh, it'd have been so funny, wouldn't it? Double skulls into death. The classic. So yeah, it's like it's still it's going pretty well for Nick, isn't it? But maybe now is the time for uh, Vava to just like you know go all men's contact to try and get something out. It's tricky. Especially if you don't have uh, players left in the pitch. Yep. You got seven players, so it's like it's rough, isn't it? Because he, you know, if he tries to stop the score, he, he's more likely to get banged out. But then you don't want to just not try to stop the score and have nothing happen. Well, he has a very good chance with the uh, one turner. Yeah. Oh, that fucking it. song. <laughs> yeah. No effort at all to stop the one turner. Uh, just to stop the score, which is fine, I guess. I guess both people will be fine with that. Because he, you know, he probably could have done something, maybe, you know, like if the block dice had been bad for Nick, but now he just gets it guaranteed. Oh, yeah. 
Yes, he definitely gave up the drive, yeah. But I mean, it was almost given up anyway, right? He lost so many players. That he's got six players. Like, the drive's all... And then, like, you know, he's so far forward. Like, maybe if he was at a halfway line, then then maybe you, like, just harass with everything that you can. But that was... It was asking a lot to, uh... To stop him there, I think. Fantastic. Another dead <laughs> Oh, I think there is a way to get a sharp here. <laughs> Maybe. Did you see the play, guys? <laughs> oh, now he's going back. Yeah, I guess because now it's not like now this four of Nick's team are out of it, aren't they? Yeah, so now he's... he can put, try to get something. Put some pressure there, or maybe, you know. Maybe, maybe next, if he can force the score next turn. I think what he had to do was base with everybody here if he was going to do this. Because yeah. this is like, yeah. you know, it's just going to go into the corner, isn't he? And then what yep. you do, not. Whereas if you I mean, all, you, all, all you're leaving yourself for turn eight is, or is a cage dive, you know? Yeah. <laughs> or turn seven, excuse me. Which I'm amazed that the Nick didn't call any of the, the Tomb Guardian Sika 6. Yeah, absolute shocker. Nick takes this game very seriously, guys. I don't know why you would expect him to uh, meme about uh, Blood Bowl things when he's got a championship caliber Kemri team here. The problem is it's an SFL championship caliber team. You don't see anyone playing Kemri in SFL, Jim. <laughs> Oh my god, oh. another dub school! <laughs> what the hell? Amazing. <laughs> this is bonkers. There is, there is a throw up uh, in the bottom uh, right that hasn't moved like in four turns. That's it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to move. <laughs> Everybody next to me will try to do something die. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We're hitting the, yeah, we are. Oh, baby. And here you go. So now, you know, you can just kind of. Base up the ball here and uh, get That's froggy. It. That's the game. Uh, congratulations, yeah. Barbar, uh, to pass to the run of City 2. And uh, greetings to our Greece viewers. I'm pretty sure there must be Blood Bowl players in Greece. <laughs> is, yeah. that, is that Dodger that moved in there a lineman, or is that a blitzer? Because why would you fill a square that a sidestepper could go into? Yeah. I don't like that. Unless that's no, yeah, that's not a side stepper, right? That's that's these just the lineman. Side, these are both side steppers. Oh, they're both side. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then that's fine. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's fine. But now there's only one square that you can go to on the side step. Yeah. Classic Nick trap, giving hope to the opponent to destroy him. Yep. Learn it from uh, Rick, <laughs> which is his landlord and overlord. Oh, he gets the pow, and if it'll oh, push, you're out of dodge, but he gets the full pow. Yeah. Instant full pow. Surprised he didn't get the uh, Kaz into touchdown and do a level up, too. Like, that would have been classic Nick. It would have been, yeah. Man, this has been crazy with all the dub schools, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Three Kaz. It's already getting, getting pretty rubbish for the Pro Elves. Okay, here comes the big deal, the one turn attempt. Yeah. Only needs one push. Doesn't have frenzy, does he? Does he need frenzy? No. It doesn't have a sidestep at all. So this is go for the... Can this be a... This can be a 1D, can't it? 3, 4, 5, 6... Oh, 2D! 
You can just put another player in there. Really nice. Looks like he's only doing a 1D goal. Oh, brutal kick. Oof. Oh, what? He's doing a 1D there. Okay, I already hate this. And then he's relying on Dauntless. And re-rolling the Dauntless. Re the Dauntless. Oh, God. Okay. Yep, this is... I'm absolutely bamboozled. Who just clicked this think... guy in 2D and then. It's just weird, isn't it? Could have literally just 2D blitzed and, like, he didn't have to rely on Dauntless and then. Yeah, that was a weird. Not the best one turn attempt I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> no, no, that no. Was a half a blood ball, though, folks. That sure was. Mm. Yes, local local shop league uh, level of play with all those double skulls, but yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Like, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand what he was. <laughs> Hello, doing. Bam Bam Mungel <laughs> or Bam Bam Mangel. As tradition is in the chat, you know, first time uh, chatters. <laughs> Talking crap about the coaches. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird. Like, that was so weird, wasn't it? I don't even know what he was trying to do. I wonder if Dix remembered his bribe. Because he surely could have uh, fouled more than he has. This game is not sponsored by Greece, it's dedicated to our Greek viewers. There you go. Don't we you feel a fool, Johnny Five? <laughs> we are not sellouts, you know, we have integrity. We accept any amount of money. <laughs> The three eyes, of course. Intensity, integrity, and intelligence. Probably not that order. But I remember that. I remember the three eyes. It is annoying versus Camry when you don't even get the blitz. But it's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck it. Now a foul from Barber. Like he's fouling a Skellington. With an elf. I guess he thinks he's got to get super lucky, so he's trying to get super lucky, yeah. Like, it must be really desperate, because that's like an objectively terrible move, isn't it? But on the other hand, if it works, it's it's getting you a way of playing the game, so you must really think he's terribly behind. Big uh, pylon there, but at least it was a pylon. Yep. <laughs> and I think the elves have a good chance to make a break here, try to score. Yeah, well, it's good that they've got this move 10 guy, isn't it? So he's always... Uh, no, he's not yeah, always. but he needs to be very careful when uh, he gives him the ball, because... Uh, 
the wizard is in play. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's why he's not coming on. But that's, that's good, that's good. And now, yes, another guy there. And as we all know, Kemri much better on defense than offense, so uh, there's basically no way Nick can score uh, in the counter score against the quick score here, so should get flipped and uh, lose 2-1. to one. Mm. There you go, there you go. Uh, that's a good analysis there, uh, Skuro. Yeah. I'm pretty Just, sure uh, that's exactly got, what's going to happen. Gotta spit them facts. <laughs> Decent defense for Nick as much as he could against it, but he moved 10 health. <laughs> oh, that's a good KO, that's the guard guy. Mm. He could just score here, couldn't he? The pro I was just. It's, uh, no yes, two. After that, what? How many players they have left? One less. <laughs> One less. <laughs> Seven. Maybe eight. Poor. It's rough, isn't it? Because yeah, he really wants to. He really wants to stall at the half, but then also he then has to win the toss afterwards and have some players that can score. So it's it's a really tough ask for the Royals now. Oh, tackle doing nothing. Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> yeah, Xander, I'd say Orcs are better, but if you want to use like an Edge team, then Dark Owls are obviously more. Like they're different, they're quite different teams, right? So the other team of elves appeals here than Dark Elves. I can say that maybe Orcs, because they just go try to get as many 2D blocks as possible, which is easy to do. Yeah. With the Orcs, and the Dark Elves demand more, uh, be more careful. Yeah, and it's kind of easier to play the Dark Elves wrong, right? Like when you, when you watch people play. The, the the good dark elf player like I feel like if you've got a random CCL team and you're playing somebody who isn't very good at blood ball they've got a lot more chance of just 2Ding everybody with, with orcs and getting you in a lot of trouble than they do of like actually playing the elves well yeah. <laughs> with the orcs you can always you know base 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 yeah. and at the low TV, TV I mean a brand new team you're gonna just bully the other team yeah but then you know you you will still like overcommit and stuff, and then like the the lack of movement will bite you in the ass. But then at least you can like learn from it and stuff. Whereas with elves, they they'll tend to just do whatever the fuck they want anyway, no matter what you do. So I would say orcs are better in like you know, but it's it is also a little bit like comparing apples to oranges a little bit. Yeah, I say maybe you know the orcs. The problem is the one in nines. Meanwhile, with the elves, is the one in six. Mm. Ah, sharks are funnier. Mm. Backing off? Or yeah. I feel like he should have maybe uh, stretched out a bit more because, like, if you can spread the Kemri thin, maybe you can, like, you know, yeah, exploit the lack of mobility more. But it's it's a tough ask, isn't it? Just down so many players. Go on. It's tough because, like, going up. I don't know. Going into over now, like obviously he's not gonna play for the win here. Right, right? He's not gonna like try and win in regular time, but like you wanna try and give Nick just enough 
of a you know of a taste to to burn that wizard so that he doesn't have it for OT because that's going to be a big difference maker for Tomb Kings to try and score if they win the coin toss. Yep. <laughs> yes, we <can> go. <laughs> <laughs> and proving that you're smarter than your opponent. That's important. Yeah. If you lose oh, to them, you have proved that you're not as smart as them, and all, that must be avoided at no, all No, costs. no, no, no. If you lose, it's because you got dice it. <laughs> yeah, that's the rules. That's the rules for Twitch streamers in particular. Yes. I mean, <laughs> uh, and then if it is just dicey, yes, you know, this, this guy had no idea. He has got the lucky day. Oh, well, you know. Nothing anybody could have done. <laughs> exactly. It was impossible to, you know... Worst, worst possible matchup. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Instant hard counter. Oh, my God. Every single time. Oh, there you go. Oh, I do oh. Ah. oh, that's pretty, pretty bad for the pro elves. But hello, the ball, the... hello, Walid. Hello. It was his own hubris, though, J5. You know, his movement 10 not enough for you. Exactly. <laughs> I had a, half a friend that back in the day when we were playing blue, he's outraged that, you know, uh, low movement players like mummies could nearly double their movement doing GFIs. But the gutter <laughs> runners don't get that much extra movement in the end. And they both fail with a one. That was. Horrible. You know, Mami is a soul of failed GFIs with 4+. Mm -hmm. I have heard that exact same argument from a fucking moron before as well. Yeah. Gets <laughs> <laughs> mm. the cast. Oh. Well, it was armor six. That was an easy target. Niggling. Oof. Oof. Brutal. Love the, love the instant. Oh, it was it a replay, isn't it? Oh, maybe it wasn't instant. I'll imagine it was instant. Oh, he does the other It was Nick. Skull. It was instant. Oh, baby. Oh, well. Oh, well. I think we're going to see a hit on the ball here. There is a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, just a bit of one. Yeah. The tiniest chance. Yeah, the problem of uh, shutdown his uh, his killer is when it doesn't work, and it hasn't worked very well for uh, Barbar. He tried. He had uh, fouls with the player and everything. Mm. Now, again <laughs> with the pile on. Fuck the ball. Yeah. Glorious. It was pretty quick, there you go. <laughs> Single. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, huge foul. Because you don't want him scoring his one turn on turn eight. Wait. There he is, Kaz. Oh. Wonderful. And congratulations, Kadena. Commiserations, Varvar. Yeah, that's really great, isn't it? For if if it goes to overtime, which it's not looking like it will at the moment. Nope. But even if it does go to overtime, you got a wizard and the move tens out, so he couldn't just because because like the, it, you'd go for the one turn, wouldn't you? I think if you won the toss. Yes. I, I think that was yes. his only yes. chance. I mean, <laughs> oh, 
else. No one ever steal for you. <laughs> oh well. See, an another reason why uh, I don't like throws and catches in Blood Bowl because you know this is the team with the ultimate catches with the nerves of steel, and then he ends up passing it the blitzers, and it's like you just can't yeah. guarantee that all the skills are going to be in the right players for the way you know where you need them when like your opponent's doing things as well to, to not try and help you get them where they're meant to be. Yeah. In the Proverbs catches are pretty good. Yeah. Oh, Pals on the kill. What a what a legend. What a legend Nick is. <laughs> for that, there's no in range, is there for Baba? Is this guy in range? Yeah, there's no in range. Can he chain him? Will Nick even use the wizard? I do spite bolt turn 16. He has uh, got into range? Yeah. Whoa! That was nice. Yeah. Ooh! Close! Again, if he'd only had catches there instead of blitzers. He would yeah, catch it with never steal, happy days. Yeah. And now we've got the... a fireball in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Good guy, Nick. I think he should have fireballed his uh, his uh, five stack of uh, Kemri there, just to truly assert dominance. We've seen it. We've seen it work out for him pretty well before. Yep. And the final pylon. Trying to deny the vanity pass to the Camry. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, obviously, Nick played well. Baba did some things that I didn't like, but there you go, what can you do? Um, I think Nick got pretty good dice as well, didn't he? Uh, apart from the millions of dub skulls, but then Varva rolled a bunch of dub skulls as well. Crazy amount of skulls, in fact. Like, uh, overall, absolutely unbelievable. 25 skulls uh, not bad. for Nick and 11 skulls. So actually, not that many, but just loads of dub skulls. Crazy. Right, so there you go, that was all oh, the thing, the thing, the result thing is known, but never mind. Um, congratulations, Gadenic, commiserations, Vava, thank you so much. Fimir and Skuro, absolutely glorious. Opa! <laughs> Always a pleasure to be here, and I hope our Greek uh, viewers have enjoyed this game with uh, Gadenic as main star. Yep, glorious. Right, um, yep, thanks. <laughs> no play now, PC. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. Give the people what they want, Jim. <laughs>